let's ramp it up a notch and do some pickleball volleying today. Let's review the volley rules. You get one hit per side. Uh, the ball can be hit in the air without it bouncing if it is not a serve. Either partner can hit the ball at any time. The ball can hit the net and go over. That counts. Um, only one foot may be in the non-volley zone when contacting the ball, so make sure you have one foot out. The ball may bounce only once on your side before you hit it. And after you hit it, it may not bounce on your side. It must go over the net. Those are our volley rules. It should be a review as we've already gone over it. So what are we doing today? Here's your lesson. We got the net there in the middle. You got uh, two happy students here, two happy students there. If you have more than four in your group, you can throw another person in line back there. So we are going to focus on volleying today. That is our goal. Our goal is to keep the volley going. We don't want play to stop. To do that, we need to make sure we are aiming, we're using proper form, um, and we are uh, obviously getting it over the net and allowing the team on the other side to hit it back to us because we want that volley to continue. So what we're going to do to start is we are going to be in what's called a front back formation. Notice you have one partner here in the front and the other one in the back. It's happening on both sides. So both teams are going to be in the front back formation. Guy in the front here, this guy, this happy little guy, he, well, not that guy, this guy. He's going, he or she, will hit the ball over the net. Now, as soon as you hit it, you must run, turn around, and run, and switch places with the person that is standing behind the serving line. So that person behind the serving line is then going to run to the middle of the court and take your spot. The same thing is happening over on the other side. This guy here standing behind the serving line, he will switch spots, he or she will switch spots with their partner after they have hit it. So I'm forcing you to move a little bit. Now notice everybody's kind of in the middle of the court to begin with, that is nice. That's kind of where you want to be. It's easier to hit, and you can get to the balls on either side. So when you're hitting it back to the other team, make sure you're hitting it light. You're hitting it up in the air so they have time to get in position to hit it. Because um, you want to keep the volley going. That's, that's what we're going to do. So we'll do this for 10 minutes until we go on and we do some side-to-side -side volleying. So notice, we are now on different sides of the court, and that is why it is called the side-to-side -side formation. Same kind of idea, except this time we're not going to be running out of bounds or switching places or anything like that. We just want to keep the volley going, so we're going to hit it over the net. We're working on aiming and proper form and getting in position. You should be in the ready position when you are not um, currently hitting the ball. Um, and again, we want the ball to go over the net to uh, our opposition there so that they can get in position and hit it back. If you guys want to count how many in a row you get before play stops, before something you know illegal happens or the ball goes out of bounds or it doesn't go over the net, and we can kind of keep track to see uh, which court got the most after 10 minutes. All right? So... Uh, we are combining kind of the forehand, the backhand, the volleying, a little bit of the serving, um, and some different formations here as we are trying to keep the volley going. So good luck with your lesson for the day.